Space, the final frontier. Sure, we've all heard this famous tagline from Star Trek, but this massive void is more like the frontiers of the Wild West than you know. Believe it or not, space contains wealth and riches far beyond your wildest imaginations. Let's not forget, scientists have discovered an enormous cosmic diamond named BPM 37093, which is a crystallized white dwarf star. Basically, it's a diamond 4,000 meters long. However, we won't be traveling there anytime soon. So, is there anything closer to Earth? You bet there is, and it takes the form of a giant golden asteroid. Oh, you heard that right. It's a ginormous golden asteroid whizzing around our solar system with an orbit that's the equivalent of about five Earth years. And with asteroids becoming legal to own in 2016, you better believe that wealthy celebrities have already taken an interest. It seems it's only a matter of time before someone gets up there and becomes really, really rich. Here's some stats about everyone's favorite soft metal and why you should be interested. If you're trying to invest your hard-earned money, one of the safest bets is buying gold. In fact, this past July in 2020, prices per ounce of gold climbed up to $1,800 per ounce. This is the highest gold has been since September of 2011. And frankly, the uncertainty that this year has brought and most likely will continue to bring did y'all forget the United States is also holding its presidential election in only a few short months? Who knows what will happen? But one thing is for certain, and that is statistics. Gold is on the rise, with an estimated 19% rise in value this year alone. Things are looking pretty darn good for gold, aren't they? Well, until you throw in a curveball that most investors aren't thinking of. And by curveball, we actually mean a gigantic 173 mile by 144 mile wide massive ball of metal we want to introduce you to the M-type asteroid 16 Psyche. It's shaped like your standard potato. However, it's much, much bigger and made of stuff that is much more valuable. See, the reason that it is called an M-type asteroid is this. The majority of its composition is metallic, meaning that it is mostly made of metals like iron and nickel, commonly found here on Earth. Ah, but the metals don't stop there. Scientists have discovered that 16 Psyche is also compromised of mind-boggling amounts of gold and heaps of platinum. Just how much are these metals worth? Try this on for size. 16 Psyche, if mined, would yield 10,000 quadrillion dollars. That's 19 zeros, people. So what is this floating fortune doing floundering through our favorite neighborhood, the solar system? Scientists believe that this is actually the leftover remnants of the core of a planet. They think that this planet must have formed around the time that our solar system was taking shape, and through massive amounts of collisions from heavenly bodies that took place billions of years ago. These collisions could have been asteroids, moons, other planets, comets, and more, and before long, the rocky surface was chipped away, and slowly but surely, all that was left was this incredibly dense and metallic core. It is also speculated that this planet was probably the size of Mars at least. Now you may be wondering, how in the heck can we know all this about a giant rock that, at its maximum distance, is 497 million miles from the Sun? That's 3.3 astronomical units for all of you out there in the know. For those that don't, a single astronomical unit is the equivalent of the distance from the Earth to the Sun. So yeah, this asteroid is far out there. But by studying it through both the visible and infrared spectrum, as well as using radar, they can get a surprisingly accurate portrait of what it looks like, what it's made of, and more. They can even figure out it takes four hours for 16 Psyche to rotate on its axis. Compared to the 24 hours it takes here on Earth, this baby is spinning at super speeds. But even with all this incredible information, there is only so much you can learn from observing at such a long distance away. Which is why scientists at NASA are very interested in sending a probe up to 16 Psyche, mainly because they believe by studying what is thought to be an exposed planet core, they will learn more about Earth and get even more information on what it was like in the early years during the formation of our solar system and planet. And due to the asteroid being not too far away, after all, it's located right between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. It has already been announced that they will be able to launch a rocket in August of 2022, and the company behind the launch will be none other than SpaceX. Once up there, the real fun will begin, and by using a ton of incredibly advanced instruments, like a gamma ray and neutron spectrometer, we will get an even more detailed and accurate look at just what this giant golden potato is made of. Who knows, we may find that there is even more gold than we thought. But why stop there? Who is to say there couldn't be diamonds too? Diamonds? Diamonds, don't you see? 
Diamonds will make everything all better. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, we're just, uh, we're huge Simpsons fans here. Looks like we won't know for sure until the craft arrives at its far-off destination by the year 2026. Once it arrives, it is slated to remain in orbit for 21 months. This will be quite a historic mission as well, due to the fact that this will be the first time that we will be investigating a heavenly body that is not made of rock and ice. Oh yeah, you heard that right. Up till this mission, there hasn't been any rocket sent to probe any metallic object in our solar system. It's truly a legendary endeavor, and we as a species will have taken leaps forward in finding not only our place in the world, but our place in the universe. It's a fantastic time to be alive. But look, that's all well and good. Learning about where we came from is great and all, but uh, the truth of the matter is this is a giant piece of gold flying through space worth quadrillions of dollars. We want to know if someone can mine this bad boy. Let's split the pot. No one would ever starve again, and we could all have giant mansions just like the richest here on Earth. Right? Well, here's the thing. First of all, if this asteroid were to be mined, it would be absolutely devastating to our economy. We're talking really, really bad. Not just bad like at the end of Trading Spaces bad, but monstrously, unfathomably, world-cripplingly bad. Without a doubt, this would occur all over the world, and to everyone. Basically, all money would devalue, almost instantly, and that includes the money held by the governments of the world. So yes, technically, there would be enough gold to go around to make every single person a billionaire. But remember, when everyone is a billionaire, no one is. But that doesn't mean that private investors and companies aren't interested in getting up there and taking a swing at the potato-shaped fortune. In fact, everyone's favorite billionaire, Elon Musk, not to mention the man behind SpaceX, has sent out some rather coy tweets hinting that he would be very interested in mining 16 Psyche. See, this idea is nothing new. The one that says there is a wealth of gold to be mined up in the heavens? In fact, there are two companies called Deep Space Industries and Planetary Resources that are backed by big-name celebs, and these companies are specifically geared towards mining and extracting gold from asteroids in our solar system. They've even been eyeing another asteroid, known as 2011 UW-158 asteroid. And while it's nowhere near the levels of wealth contained on 16 Psyche, this floating gold mine is twice the size of the Tower of London and still worth an approximate $5.7 trillion. No wonder people are scrambling to get up there. Which brings us back to Mr. Musk, who, when asked if he would comment on the idea of him mining the gold in asteroids due to gold not having a fixed supply, he simply tweeted the word Psyche and linked to an article by Fox News stating the gold up there would make everyone on Earth a billionaire. Touché, Mr. Musk. Touché. <laughs> so, looks like the rich are just going to get richer and richer and richer until, well, they mine the gold from the asteroids, crash the world's economy, spiral life as we know it into oblivion, and watch as we all have to pick up the pieces. Oh wait, that sounds eerily similar to 2020 already, everyone's favorite year. And yes, we mean that with as much sarcasm as we can muster people. Hey, you know what? We say, go for it. Bring that gold down from the heavens and let us all be billionaires for a day. We've always wanted to know what it would be like to own a super yacht or a private jet or any Lamborghini we've ever wanted anyway. The rich have had their time. Let's even things out and start over anew with everyone swimming in their own pile of money a la Scrooge McDuck. As Jesse Pinkman would say, Yes, science! Seems that space is filled with far more than just, well, empty space. Yes, it's cold and dark and frankly, if you were up there, most of the time, you would just be trying to keep yourself busy as you floated endlessly through the pitch-black blanket that is its infinite majesty. But at the same time, this vast cosmic void is teeming with mysteries and adventures just waiting to be had. Not to mention incredible riches to be mined for those brave enough and, let's face it, rich enough to strap on a spacesuit and fly out there. For now, though, it seems Mr. Musk is content just looking at the aforementioned shiny asteroid, even though he certainly hinted at having interest in sending up a mining mission. But I guess when you're worth $78.2 billion, you don't really need a giant golden asteroid. But the rest of us? Yeah, we do. Stay in school, learn science, and design that perfect spaceship that can mine this baby. You'll be richer than anyone else in humanity's history. Hey, looks like being a nerd pays off. Thanks for sticking around and watching today's video. It was a blast making it, and we love serving you all the latest gossip on the ultra-rich and incredibly wealthy. After all, it doesn't look like any of us are going to be quite as rich as the billionaires of the world anytime soon, which means we certainly aren't going to have enough to mine these massive golden asteroids. So we might as well live vicariously through the people who can. If you enjoy our content, click that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the goings-on of those with the dough.
And if you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button. It's the best way to show support for our channel. And it allows us to keep making you videos. We'll see you next time right here on The Richest.